so good morning students so today we are discussing about 9th uh, class biology uh, telangana state uh, textbook so you must uh, follow this textbook now i will explain clearly properly accurately see my videos and listen the class and you have to properly understand if you have any doubt personally post me whatsapp don't post in the group regarding to this video or subject to doubts you have to post in whatsapp group only so now i'm giving introduction about ninth class biology chapters so you 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 people are seeing that ninth class test book cover page here this cover page contain hibiscus flower and uh, so now let us discuss about the chapter introduction and uh, so the ninth class biology generally contain 11 chapter ninth class biology contain 11 chapters so the first one is cell structure and function the second chapter plant tissues third chapter animal tissues fourth chapter transportation through plasma membrane fifth chapter diversity in living organism sixth sense organs seventh animal behavior eighth challenges in improving agricultural production ninth adaptation in different ecosystems and tenth soil pollution and 11th bio geochemical cycle so now let us go to the about uh, introduction about the chapters the first chapter the first chapter is the cell structure and function so cell you know that it is a small in latin it is a small room so all living things are only derived from they start their life with a single cell we are also coming from single cell our life also started with a single cell that is zygote so we are also coming from single cell that is called zygote so now that important cell cell dis who discovered and what is the functions of the cell and what is the main important act uh, functions of the cell and its structure and functions and also we will study in this chapter plant cell and animal cell so cell theory and other contributions of scientist about the cell and cell organelles and these chapters we will study in this next year plant tissues so plant tissues you know that plants also made up by the cells and their components plants also made up by the cells and their components so plants tissue are the special tissue why because they grow continuously but in animals it is limited only so plant tissue uh, tissue nothing but group of cells different systems are we can see different types of tissues we can see in the plants later study in this chapter and uh, next go to that uh, animal tissues so animal tissue is entirely different uh, somewhat from the plant tissues so animal tissue also we can discuss so animal tissues and uh, fourth chapter is transportation through plasma membrane we know that about a cell cell wall and cell membrane cell membrane is nothing but here plasma membrane its functions what is the use what is the structure of this plasma membrane we will study in the ninth class so next fifth one diversity in living organism so diversity so uh, you know that about diversity is nothing but uh, uh, organisms having different characteristics for example we are all human being but we have different characteristics regarding height to weight to color some some human being have white color some human being black so like that and some human being are high to some some human being are small like this so these are variations in nothing but plants also variety kind of plants are there and uh, all among the plants and among the animals and among the human being there will be variety characteristics are there so that is called a diversity 
regarding to for example let us take in in a classroom so 40 members are there means each member is different in height color weight so in this way they have the diversity among the those people nothing but it is a diversity so sense organs so most important in to the organisms sense organs main important to sense whatever happening surrounding so you know that sense organs are total five eye ear skin nose tongue so these each skin organ should carry out uh, two to three functions so without sense organs organisms would not survive living things cannot uh, uh, carry out uh, their metabolic activities and could not respond to surrounding seventh animal be so four types of behaviors we will study in this chapter that is uh, instinct imprinting conditioning imitation so now let us go to the challenges in improving agriculture production so nowadays most important the farmer in this universe so we should support to the farmer why because uh, because of we surviving only the contribution of the farmer so challenges in improving agriculture production here we will study in limited area less amount of water and uh, less efforts and less cost how much we get more crop more benefits that steps we will study in this chapter and adaptation in different ecosystem so you can we uh, we are observing that uh, the variety kind of organisms in this universe are uh, located in different areas desert area water area and uh, in this uh, so why the plants uh, some plants live in the desert area some plants in live in uh, normal places uh, so mainly when we take the desert area there is no water but even though plants and animals will be sad because of their adaptation only so here we will study about ecosystems and uh, types of ecosystems and types of organisms depending on the type of ecosystem we will study soil pollution we know that already we know pollution is dangerous to for the organic uh, living things for to cause many harmful effects in that way pollutions are many types sound pollution land pollution is nothing but soil pollution and uh, water pollution okay thermal like this uh, variety kind of pollutions are there but among land pollution or soil pollution which was given in our textbook let us study deeply and bio geochemical cycles bio geochemical cycles here bio means life geo means earth chemical means components like carbon dioxide oxygen nitrogen sulfur phosphorus so these oxygen phosphorus sulfur carbon dioxide oxygen they may rotate in this atmosphere so they may move from living things to atmosphere atmosphere to earth earth to water like this continuity of for example oxygen it is 21 percent nitrogen 78 carbon dioxide 0.03 so in this way their constant never will be reduced never why because they may continue they may cycle they may recycle in this nature so these cycles should play major role so what are the cycles we will study in this means phosphorus cycle sulfur cycle carbon cycle oxygen cycle and water cycle these are what what is the need to study these cycles means how the water oxygen and carbon dioxide is remain constant in this universe so these because of their constant only uh, living things can survive long so if they unconstant what happen uh, organism should play problems to get these oxygen and plants carbon dioxide they may face problem so it is not happening like that in this universe all are equal proportional and they may continually redistribute into the atmosphere again they may come back how much we utilized oxygen whenever you test in the atmosphere 21 percent is present carbon dioxide is 0.03 percent whereas nitrogen 78 percent so they may remain constant because of the dynamic nature of these gases they remain constant so that 
organisms would be survive so this is the chapter introduction tomorrow onwards we will go to the deeply chapter wise so if we have any doubts while i am explaining if you uh, you have to post in my personal whatsapp and you have to see the video regularly okay thank you